The Royal Air Force, RAF, of the United Kingdom has officially introduced its cutting-edge airborne early warning and control aircraft, the E-7 Wedgetail AEW MK-1, during the prestigious Royal International Air Tattoo, RIAT, event at RAF Fairford on July 19, 2025. This public reveal highlights a major advancement in the UK's air defense and battlefield coordination capabilities, replacing the retired E-3D Sentry and reaffirming Britain's dedication to NATO's integrated air and missile defense framework. The E-7 Wedgetail's debut was notably marked by a synchronized flypast alongside the iconic Red Arrow's aerobatic team, demonstrating the RAF's next-generation surveillance technology to a global audience. Originally, the UK Ministry of Defence contracted Boeing in March 2019 to supply five E-7 Wedgetail aircraft. However, a reassessment in 2021, balancing operational requirements and budget realities, led to a revised order of three aircraft. Valued at around £1.5 billion, the contract encompasses not only the aircraft acquisition but also mission system integration, ground infrastructure, and comprehensive support. These platforms are conversions of pre-owned Boeing 737-700 airliners, retrofitted in Birmingham by STS Aviation Services in close partnership with Boeing Defence UK. The RAF anticipates the first E-7 to reach initial operational capability, IOC, by 2026, with full operational status by 2028. They will be assigned to No. 8 Squadron at RAF Lossiemouth in Scotland, reinstating a sovereign airborne early warning role for the UK for the first time since the E-3D Sentry's retirement in 2021. Built on Boeing's reliable 737 next-generation airframe, the Wedgetail's key strength lies in its sophisticated mission suite. Central to this is the Northrop Grumman Multirole Electronically Scanned Array, MESA, radar, mounted atop the fuselage, providing continuous 360-degree coverage. This radar can simultaneously monitor air and sea targets over vast expanses, detecting fighter-sized threats beyond 370 kilometers and tracking hundreds of objects in real time. Its sensor accuracy, electronic warfare resistance, and command and control data capacity surpass previous generation systems by a significant margin. More than a mere detection platform, the Wedgetail operates as a high-tech airborne command center. Its crew, equipped with advanced consoles, manage the battle space dynamically, directing fighter intercepts, orchestrating naval operations, and overseeing land forces in complex multi-domain engagements. The aircraft is essential for both frontline tactical missions and overarching strategic command, particularly in coalition environments and contested airspace scenarios. For those unfamiliar with airborne early warning and control, AEWNC, the Wedgetail continuously surveys the airspace, maritime zones, and ground areas to detect potential threats like hostile aircraft, missiles, or ships. It then relays timely alerts to allied units, directs interceptors, and ensures cohesive battlefield awareness, acting as a vital node that integrates and synchronizes forces across air, sea, and land. The UK's trio of Wedgetails is uniquely customized to meet national operational demands. The domestic conversion and system integration work, carried out at STS Aviation Services, bolsters the British aerospace sector and secures skilled jobs. Each aircraft undergoes exhaustive testing of mission systems, electronic warfare calibration, and sensor fine-tuning. Sporting the distinctive eight squadron markings, these jets will operate from RAF Lossiemouth alongside the RAF's fleet of P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft. This co-location leverages the shared Boeing 737-NG base, streamlining maintenance, logistics, and crew training efficiencies across both aircraft types. Since retiring the E-3D Sentry in 2021, the UK experienced a notable gap in airborne early warning capacity, relying heavily on NATO's E-3A AWACS and USAE WNC support during exercises and missions. The arrival of the E-7 Wedgetail restores a fully sovereign UK airborne surveillance capability, with modular design enabling future upgrades to counter emerging threats such as hypersonic missiles, stealth drones, and integrated air defense systems. This program aligns closely with the RAF's broader Future Combat Air System, FCAS, vision.
The E-7 is poised to operate in synergy with current assets and the forthcoming Tempest 6 generation fighter, serving as a vital command and control hub in distributed and networked combat operations. With full operational capability expected by 2028, the wedge tail will anchor British Airborne Command, Control, and Surveillance for decades ahead. Its appearance at RAT 2025 was not only a milestone unveiling but also a clear message, the UK remains a leader in advanced air power strategy. As security challenges evolve across the Euro-Atlantic theatre, the E-7 wedge tail guarantees the RAF's position at the cutting edge of integrated warfare, alliance interoperability, and rapid battlefield coordination.